President Trump has succeeded in reducing some federal regulations, but odds are you haven't noticed a difference in your daily routine. In fact, there's so much bureaucracy, so many processes, rules and procedures in virtually every facet of what we do, it may be among the most persistent and vexing challenges in American life. That's today's cover story, Drowning in Red Tape. Patty Tassari runs a food booth at local fairs. My parents started in the carnival business in 1945. She's been coming to the Frederick, Maryland Fair for 36 years, but says the red tape is getting so bad, she's drowning in it. Do you have any idea how much in terms of your time and money red tape costs you with this business? Red tape costs me a whole, whole lot of time. More time than anybody would want to pay me for. This year, there was the fire extinguisher saga. This was good last year. Her perfectly good fire extinguisher required a fresh inspection. So I could not open Friday morning when the fair was first to start because I had to take this to Hagerstown to have them take it apart and put it back together to tell me that it was okay. How much did that cost? $110 and three hours later. It's one of two fire extinguishers she's required to keep on hand. Although it was good enough last year, they told me I needed to go out and buy a brand new one, had to have the register receipt and the box saying that it was purchased within the year. A few years back, she had to squeeze in a separate sink exclusively for hand washing. Now, three are required. So therefore, I had to get a dish pan so you can have the, the, the wash, rinse, and then sanitize. And then, of course, the separate hand washing sink. And she still got a complaint for bees. This year we find it very funny that they wrote me up because there were bees observed flying around. And what's I, the fan for? Oh, the fan I found keeps the bees away so much. My but the fan got her in trouble with the sink police. It obstructs the sink. So I think what they really want me to do is buy a $150,000 trailer instead of this family-owned thing that we've had for 50 or 60 years. Just way too much red tape in, in the world now. You can't simply just call someone on the phone and get someone to answer and answer your question. How much time and frustration do you think red tape costs us in our daily lives? You know, I'm, I'm afraid to, that we may be very used to it and that we don't notice it quite as much. Diane Katz is a senior research fellow in regulatory policy, red tape, at the Conservative Heritage Foundation. This isn't a, a, a partisan issue. This is a political issue because administrations on both sides of the aisle have wasted no time in, you know, getting their own regulations out there. In Tales of the Red Tape, Katz has chronicled examples like federal regulations requiring hotels, restaurants, and airlines to write policies accommodating miniature horses as service animals. Like the government's idea to streamline the home mortgage process, the supposed fix was nearly 1,100 pages long. Every element of our lives is regulated. The food we eat, the clothes we wear, how we light our homes, how we cook, the toys our kids play with, the volume of our television, the size of our breath mints. I mean, you name it, it's regulated. You co-authored a report that tried to quantify the costs and the amount of bureaucracy. Well, first of all, no one keeps track of the total cost of regulation. What we did is we quantify on an annual basis the number and the cost of the major regulations that are added in a given year. And we found that it, um, over the Obama administration, there was about $120 billion of new regulatory costs, new ones, not e the existing ones. Per year uh, per or year. over time? Per year. That's on top of estimates of about $2 trillion in costs. In 1960, there were approximately 20,000 pages in the Code of Federal Regulations. Today, there are over 185,000 pages. President Trump promised that for every new federal regulation issued on his watch, two would be cut. 
His first year exceeded that. 22 old regulations were cut for each one added. One, two, three. Some rules are necessary. Some regulations are needed, am I wrong? There's always good intentions for everything in Washington, but that doesn't mean that the results are good. And sometimes the intentions are supposedly good, but behind them there are political and economic drivers. And so I wouldn't necessarily say that every regulation comes from a good intention. TV host and attorney Greta Van Susteren got tangled in red tape when she decided to volunteer for the U.S. taxpayer-funded Voice of America. I don't cost the taxpayers a dime, and so uh, I just wanted to get started. And so all I want to do is get into the building and do my job. A building pass requires a background check with Homeland Security. They sent me a link that I had to fill out. Well, that was just the beginning. I wanted to know where my mother-in-law had lived. Well, she's been dead for almost 20 years. They want to know where you've traveled in the last seven years. If I had any property in a foreign country. Do you intend to buy some land in a foreign country? Finally got it finished. I was absolutely ecstatic, absolutely ecstatic because it was such, a, such an ordeal. I spent at least six hours filling it out. Next was a personal interview where she would have to bring an original Social Security card, which she didn't have. I had my card back in 1966-ish. If I have to get an original for this volunteer job, get an original card, I'll go to the government site for Social Security. That only led to more bureaucratic complications. I got locked out. So then I was locked out of the Social Security, and so then I couldn't get the cards. Uh, you know, this is not just something that's annoying. It's a huge expense to the American taxpayer. Over time, those costs build up and build up and build up. And we're at the point now where uh, the costs are, are, you know, inherent throughout the economy. But what worries me as much or more is the lost uh, liberty that goes along with these uh, regulations, the loss of choice, um, the constraint on our behavior or choices. Back at the fair, in Pennsylvania, everyone who runs a establishment that is not, that is a for-profit has to be served safe certified, $85 for the year. So I have to pay this a different fee for every county that we go into. Like many Americans, Patty Tassari is struggling to not let red tape beat her down. The federal government doesn't officially track total regulatory costs. Estimates range from hundreds of billions of dollars to over $2 trillion annually.